Hello everybody. Now this video will talk about the Seagate playlist. Playlist is one of the most important firmware modules within the Seagate hard drives. For Seagate hard drives, especially the Seagate F3 hard drives, the playlist, the translator, and the ROM are the most three important modules within the sticky hard drives. Some users have asked many questions about this playlist operations and they are confused about some of the modules displayed within the program. Now let's check what modules are concerned with the playlist. Playlist is one of the defect list so if we want to operate on the playlist, we need to go to this menu, Defects Management. And we can see there is one menu called Pianist Operations. And here we can see Edit Pianist, Read Pianist, and Clear Pianist. Mostly, we just need to use the first two options. Because there is one common failure for Seagate F3 hard drives, that is the partial sector access problem. So for this, this kind of problem, we can try to edit playlist. Now we need to select the family. The drive is ready, so we can use ATA mode to read this playlist. This is the fastest method. To read this playlist by ATA mode. However, when the hard drive becomes busy, you cannot read this playlist by ATA mode. The only option for busy secret hard drives to read this playlist is by the COM mode. So right now, let's take the playlist read by ATA mode as example to obtain to read this playlist. Now we can see. Playlist contains all the defects are displayed here within the interface. Right click, we can see there are many submenus. So within this submenu, we can see there is one menu called Senate the non SF defects. So we can click on this one. Delete the long SF. SF means the self-test. This is normal defect files, normal defects contained within the playlist. So we need to keep it. But if long SF, then we need to delete it. And then after we delete the long SF defects, we need to click write. Write the new playlist with no long SF defects to the hard drive. And then we need to power off and power on the hard drive as the drive will get live by removing the failure of the partial sector interruption problem. So this is a playlist operation. Sometimes we have read the playlist and we can load from five. We can load this playlist. When we load this playlist, we must assure that the playlist is one independent playlist file, not the compilation file of several defect files. Because for most users, when they go to the module list, we can see the module 3. There is one description for the module 3. Actually, we can see it's playlist, but the module 3 contains three defect files. They are the first one, the primary servo defect list, second one, the track list, the third one is playlist. So that means the module 3 within the module list contains three parts. 
it's not only playlist. So you cannot load module 3 to edit playlist. You must load the playlist here. Read playlist, then load the playlist read by this menu. Or you can read this playlist directly by the opt-in button. Now let's continue to check. So module 3 not only contains for playlist. Remember, this one is very important. Module 3 is not playlist. It contains three parts. Playlist is just one of the three. Okay, so module 3 is important. Now we can check the module 2B. Module 2B within the module list is the translator. So for all the CD hard drives, whether you are doing data recovery or hard drive refurbishing, you must back up the model 2B, module 3, and the ROM. Then you can rest assured to operate on the hard drive. In case you make the drive undetected or dead, you can write back the original ROM and original translator and module 3 to get its drive alive again. Now this is a modules, but in many cases you cannot access this modules because the drive keeps busy. So you can only access to the SYS, the system files. So we can read the system files by COM mode or ATM mode. For the Seagate LM SNIM hard drives, we need to use the SYS mode. This is the ATA indirect mode. Now for ATA mode, we can try to read the system files here. Now we can see the module 1B. The system file 1B equals to the module 3. So three parts as well. Servo defect file, checklist, and playlist. So system file 1B equals to module 3. And system file 2B equals to translator and equals to the module 2B. This is a 28. System file 28. Module 35, this is a engineer. Please note the system file 20 equals to the pianist. We can check here. Pianist file. So we can also read the system file 20. So we can note the system file 20 as playlist to edit the playlist. So for all users, you must understand very clearly about the difference between the module 3 and the playlist. It's important. Thank you for watching this video.